Hi, Assalamualaikum. Okay, now I will show you on the MRP example one. So the question, uh, this question a bit a bit more complex because they have more than one level. So in example two, we have only level one, and this time we have level two and three. So it's a bit complicated. And the information that given us that they give all the lead time, give us the lot size. And this one is on hand. Okay, so they give us 200 units of product A and they need the product A to be complete at week 20. So we need to do the MRP. So, so how many MRP we need to have? So we need to have MRP for A, B, C, D, and E. So they're going to have 5 MRP for each item. So again, I will use the same table. So this one, the lot size is lot for lot for the first one. Okay. Uh, lead time is four, and then on hand we have zero. Uh, how do I know it's lot for lot because the batch quantity is uh, not mentioned here. So it lot for lot. So again, we have gross requirement, schedule requirement, on hand net requirement. Purchase order receive and purchase order relief, uh, release. So we start with A. So at week 20, so we need to have uh, 20 column here. So we have 2000 here and 0 on hand. So 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 until the end. So net requirement, we still need 2000. Uh, purchase. Uh, order receive since the lot for lot so we need to buy at 2000 and when to release lead time is 4 so 1 2 3 4 so we have to release here okay so now we're going to do for uh, B okay for B uh, the lot size is 100 lead time 4 on hand is 200 B, so again we have the same uh, as the MRP for item A. And then now B is from A, so we use this information, 2000. And they have 200 on hand, so we start to, to put 200, 200 up until we find the place to do the calculation. So this one is 200. So 2000 minus 200, we have 1800. And since we need to buy in the lot size of 100, so we need 18 of the 100 lot size. So when to release for the time, so 1, 2, 3, 4. So 1800 going to be here. Okay, next we're going to do C. Okay, so since we have 2C here, so be careful. In the one MRP, so we have to see with the different level. So again, 500 is the lot size, lead time is 3. And then 750 is on hand. And then we want to fill up the gross first. So first one is we do from the C from A. So we know A here, so we have 2000 here. So this one, the first one gross, and the second one is C, the information from B. So this is the B, so we take the gross from here, B, so 1008 is from B. So why they have two? Because one is from A, is 2000, and one is from B, 1800. Okay, now we can start do. The MRP, so we bring 750 here, so we bring until we find the one with the gross. So, 750 here, so 1,800 minus 750 on hand, so we only need to buy 1,050. And again, we need to look at the lot size here, 500, so we need to buy in the lot size of 500. So, the nearest one is 3 lot size of 500. Because we have 1,050. So when to release? 
we need to release three wicks. So one, two, three. So one thousand five hundred should be here. Okay. So okay. Next. So remember, we have a uh, buy. We need to buy in the lot size of five hundred. So we have one thousand five hundred. And we only use 1,050. So we have balance of 450. So 450 should be here. Okay. Next, we move to the week 13. There's no gross. Okay. We bring to week 14. No gross. Week 15. No gross. Gross. And then week 16. Then we need to do calculation because we have 2,000 gross here. So minus 450. So you need 1,550. And uh, PO to receive since you need to buy in the 500 lot size. So the nearest one is going to be 4 times of the 500 lot size. So it's going to be 2000 when to release 3 week of lot uh, lead time. So 1, 2, 3. So it's going to release here. Okay. So we're done with the C. Next, we're going to do D. So again, D, we have two D here, so be careful. So we start uh, to fill up the lot size. Lot size is D, is uh, D lot size is 200. The lead time is 4. On hand is 400. And then we need to put 400 here, and then we need to fill up the gross. So the gross, we have two. The first one we have from B. A D gross will get from B. So this is B. So the first one is here. So 1800. And then the next one we need to get the gross from A. So A. So it's going to be here. Okay. So there's two gross will be here. From B and from A. So now we need to, to start to do MRP. So fill up with 400, 400 until you find the first gross. Yes, you find this one. So 1,800 minus 400. You left with need to buy 1,400 and, and check the lot size. So you need in to buy the lot size in 200. So you can buy 7 times 200. Okay, that's good. So you have enough, just enough. So when to release? Four weekly time, so one, two, three, four. So it's gonna be here, okay? So again, since we have used all of the four hundred, next uh, week thirteen we have nothing on hand. Week fourteen, no, nothing. Fifteen, nothing, and sixteen. And we need to do the calculation. We have two thousand here, cross, and then minus zero, two thousand. And then again, we need to buy the lot of 200. So 10 times 200, we get 2,000. And when to release? 4 week. So 1, 2, 3, 4. So 2,000 going to be here. So we have already completed the MRP for D. And next, we're going to do the last one for E. Okay. So E, we have a lot here. So be careful. So which one we can combine? So this one we can combine to become 2E. This one is 1E and this one we can combine into 2E. Okay, so now we're going to do E here. So again, uh, the 400 is from the table. Okay, table here. E, the lot size is 400 and then on hand is 2000 and lead time is 3. So 400, the lot size, lead time 3, on hand 2000. Okay, that's a lot. And they put here 2000. And then we start to put the gross. So the gross is we start from this one first from D. So D is here. So we need 2. So we times 2. Okay, 2 times 1400. Okay, then we do for the from the C. C is from A. So we check C, A is the pink color. So here. Okay, how to find it? 2,000 here. So, you bring to C. So, we know that this C is originated from A. So, we check and then you bring it here. So, you have the gross for here. And then the other one, you get, get the gross from D. So, from D. So, you go to D. So, which one to use? You check. The D 
is coming from A. So you go to D, D M R P. You find the green one. D is from A. So it's going to be this one. So you need two. Eh? One, two. So two times two thousand. So now you have three. One, two, three. So one, two, and three. Gross. Okay, now you can uh, start do the uh, MRP. So two thousand. You okay, bring here until you find the gross. Okay, the gross is here. So, 2 times 1,400, you get 2,800. So, on hand, you have 2,000. So, how many left you have to buy? 800. So, again, they already have the lot size here, 400. So, okay, that's good. So, we only need to buy just enough. So, 2 times 400, we get, we get 800. So, when to release? 3 weeks late time. 1, 2, 3. So, it's going to be here. Okay, so we have anything left? No, because we have used all the 2,000. Okay, and then again, until we find uh, the next gross. Okay, this is the next gross. It's 2 times 2,000 is 4,000. Since nothing on hand, so we need to buy 4,000. Again, in the lot size of 400. So for 4,000, we need to buy 10 lot size of 4,000. So it's going to be... Went to release three will three weeks late time so one two three so gonna be here okay so this one is gonna be here and then the next one is uh for the next one is this gross so since no on hand so you need to buy two thousand and in the, the in the form of four hundred loss size so you need five five times four hundred is two thousand so when to release uh, the lead time is 3, so 1, 2, 3. So, we're going to release here. So, we have complete A, B, C, D, E of the MRP. Okay, it's a bit long, but you need to be very careful. Okay, so I hope you understand the process.